Hi everyone and welcome back to my channel Lilies and Blush. My name is Suzanne and oh my gosh I'm like so excited. I'm excited about every video I make and like every haul I do but like this one I'm, oh my gosh I wasn't expecting my once more with love order to come in today so okay obviously doing a haul planner haul <laughs> girlfriends go once more with love. Um, I was not expecting my once more with love to come in today and I was literally just talking to my friend about it, like how I was hoping like tons of stuff came today. Um, I knew my Scarlet Prince Co. order was coming because it did have a tracking number. Um, and then like it just told me it was delivered like 15 minutes ago and then I went to go check it and then I came in and like lighting was perfect and it's the perfect time of day and it's just me and my son. So my son was like, yeah, cool. I'll go in my room and watch the tablet for however long. And I was like, I'll be really fast. Just <laughs> thank you. <laughs> like <laughs> kind of bribery, maybe a little bit there. Um, but like, you know, infinite computer game timing, uh, game time for him. If he let me film really fast. <laughs> so, um, yeah, anyways, yes. I'm so excited. Okay, because so, both of these have, um, well, the ones from I love has a bunch of stickers I ordered as well as another 10 pack Misfit bundle. Um, and then the Scribble Prince Co. is literally just that um, a Black Friday um, Misfit um, that I ordered. So, so excited about it. Oh, yes. So, which one to start with first? Uh, let's just Girl Prince Co. first because I feel like um, I don't order from her quite as often as I do other shops. Um, she's kind of my special, like, I'm madly in love with something or she's having something, some really cool event or something. Uh, I don't want to rip this sticker like so badly because it's so pretty, but it is kind of messed up already there. So I guess just, just do it. Just do it. Oh, it's like totally mutilating it. <laughs> Oh my gosh, this is fail. Failure on camera. Oh my gosh, why? <laughs> I don't think I've ever had one of these do this before where it just like decimates itself. My desperation to keep the sticker apparently was like, <laughs> other than getting all stretched out, it's still intact. <laughs> oh, my oh my gosh, only me, only me. Okay, so let's do this. Um, I think I was saying, like, I only order from her really, really special times, very specific, like, kits and stuff, very specific things, so, oh my gosh, <gasps> that's pieces of a Star Wars kit, yes, because I literally just ordered, she just had her new releases today when I'm filming this, um, Friday the 4th of December, um, and... I literally did order her release of the um, Kylo Ren, like, I think she called it Fangirl Kit. That's like the I love Kylo Ren thing. So I'm using that for Valentine's Day. I talked to my husband about it. I was like, I kind of want to use it for Valentine's Day after I watched her video and she's like talking about it as a possibility for Valentine's Day. And I'm like, oh my gosh, yes, I could totally use this for Valentine's Day or I could just save it for May the 4th or... I could get the ultimate kit and use it for both. <laughs> and he's like, yeah, do it for Valentine's Day. I think it's a Valentine's Day kit. And, you know, he made a joke about, like, he could be my Kylo Ren. So I was like, okay, <laughs> you've convinced me. <laughs> so <laughs> that's what I got today. So, of course, I'm excited if there's Star Wars stuff in here to go with it. Yes. Oh, and it's like the cute deco bits, too, it looks like. Okay, so like I said, so this was a Black Friday thing she had of a 20 pack misfit bundle for like super cheap i don't even i think i paid maybe like max nine dollars in total with shipping and everything um and it's supposed to have 10 sheets of foil misfits and 10 sheets of sticker misfits so who knows what we're gonna get i don't really do foil but i was um kind of contemplating it because um I think it might be nice to do it for some of my some of the Christmas kits, or at least like the week of Christmas and the week of New Year's, and then maybe have some for like my birthday week or just really really special weeks where I go over the top with decorating. But so I'm gonna bring you guys in a little more. Now, of course, the lighting is getting not good again. Let's see if I open up the blinds just a little bit. Do we get some better lighting? Mm -hmm. Maybe not. Oh, that's better. 
Okay, so kind of live with this lighting a bit. There we go. That's better. Um, so yeah, I, yeah, I'm just like, what was I even saying? <laughs> I got distracted by like looking in the camera and the lighting and everything. Um, yeah, so I want to kind of use them for maybe like special occasions, but I'm not going to use foil for every single kit. I can't afford that. <laughs> I, I'm trying to do the budget thing, guys. I really am. So no foil like that, but I figured this was like too good of a deal to pass up. I almost bought two, um, but I, I kind of wish I did actually now, but oh my gosh. Okay. Anyways, so let's let's go through this one at a time. So this already is just super pretty. I love this blue color. I'm trying to, I'll have to go through all my kits and try to match the foils to them and see if maybe they do, but these look like the washi strips, the 15 millimeter washi strips. And I'm not really seeing anything necessarily that would be um, maybe there, like there's a little bit of foil there, but Otherwise, I don't really see much of a, much of an oops there. Um, then we got this super pretty rose gold color. It's more pink, I think, than I normally go for with rose gold, but it's still super gorgeous. Could definitely be usable. And I like that it's inverted um, as well. Because I feel like those are, you, I would use even more almost maybe than like ones that you would overlay um then there's this one which i think does she call like the disco ball kind of style i don't know the names of all of these so if you do <laughs> let me know if i'm questioning any of them but i think this one's like disco ballish um it definitely looks like it was all the little like squares and the way it like goes but that's super pretty i think this is like hollow right hollow and then that's like a little blue color um and then we bought all these little tiny ones. Those would be cute for like maybe checkbox kind of things or just general deco like up at the top or along the bottom of a washi or something. And they're like in a, is that like a silver? Is that purple? It's kind of hard to tell even on camera. I think it's hard to tell. But it, when the light hits it, it kind of looks silvery but it also has like a purple color. But I don't know if that's just the way the light is hitting. So those kind of look like, maybe they're hollow? I can't, I don't know. I can't really tell. Um, ooh, this I love. This it looks like hollow too, I think. Because yeah, it's turning like multiple colors. But this is super cute. I love the icons. And I feel like hollow goes with a lot. That stuff, like that's one I see people using all the time. Love the little like Happy Mail and new releases sticker. And the little SP that almost looks like a scratch off kind of thing. That's cute. Okay. Ooh, okay. These are definitely, would we say these are hollow or do we say these are, would we say these are um, like a particular other thing? I would say this is hollowish, but it's mostly blue green. I'm not really seeing, like this is like rainbow hollow maybe. And then this is just hollow. What do we say? I don't know if there's a difference. I like really truly know very, very little about the whole foil stuff because I've just basically all I know is what I when I watch Kirsten and Andrea's plan with me and they talk about it or new release videos and they talk about it. Otherwise, I don't know. But this looks like a rainbow hollow to me. So love that invertedness as well. I do know that difference. I learned that from her recent releases that there's inverted ones and then so these would be inverted right because they're not clear i would i don't know again clarify for me if i if i am just totally missing the mark love the numbers i'm so excited about those that was one thing that i was intrigued by was like getting these kind of foiled numbers and then i love all the icons of course circle icons oh, yes full box of release Ooh, and they're like in a really pretty like silver this would be this would work definitely with my um my blast off uh kit from simply a mess that i got for new year's this will work perfectly and these are all four full boxes yes awesome so those will work perfect and this 
looks like it goes with it. So that would be perfect too. Just beautiful sparkly icons. Oh, it's so pretty, but I'm just like, I can't. Okay. So first we have the, what looks like a Star Wars kit. And there's a little Yoda paper clip. That's so cute. A little Chewbacca like plushy thing. That looks like a dog toy that my my dog has. And then also there's like planner stuff. May the force be with you. Little shoes. I'll have to look on her website and see if these kits still exist. But I definitely love them. They're all really pretty colors. I feel like I can definitely match some of this stuff. Definitely the deco will probably go really well with with the kit that I did order. Okay, it looks like we've got, ooh, full boxes for like a wintery thing. I will definitely have to try to find a way to use these. Okay, I'm still giving ahead. So here's one that looks like, so maybe this might've been a Snow White kit. I feel like I'm getting Snow White color vibes from this for sure, like brown, yellow, blue, per, a red, like is all very Snow White. And then with this apple here, and the little cottage behind it. I feel like this is very much a Snow White kit. So I'll have to look and see if she still has that kit as well. Maybe get some add-ons or something to go with it. Um, but like this I feel like is a good page because I've got squares for like, and then I've got icons, a little payday banner even over here. This feels like definitely an older style maybe, an older, version because i feel like this isn't something i've seen in her kids before when she's done new release videos um but i love these little squares the little squares and then like two of the big ones i feel like this is a good amount of stuff to bring in a kit like i could definitely bring in other elements and make it a whole thing but maybe if i can find some add-ons or something to it this is super cute i love the wintry scene for sure and the little starbucks cup i feel like i could use these with a kit that i already have or i could definitely use it with like leftovers that are this color tone because I'm definitely doing a lot of pastel Christmas stuff so I feel like I might have leftovers that'll go with these colors for sure um here's a washi labels and headers kind of sheet that looks like a safari kit it's very familiar feels very familiar Ooh, these this would be super useful a pink and gold kind of style one I love the little book up here so this one would be very useful. I feel like it could go with a lot of kids. Like just need those pink, any of those kind of pink tones in it. And this one, same thing. Any like Valentine's Day kit, honestly, is what this would go with perfectly. And like, again, it's got enough elements in it to bring in those color tones. I would just need full boxes that go with it maybe or something. Um, does this kind of go together? Maybe? What do you say, maybe? Oh yeah, I feel like this would go perfectly together. These full boxes and then the headers and the like label stuff. That would really go. And then look at this, you get the, this is a monthly kit thing set up though, but this would still go really well. So I could always cut. Hmm, I'd have to contemplate how to use this well but i feel like i could just cut the words out and then or just cut the days out and use them as date covers maybe with like and then use these as like and then the rest of it as cut it down as full boxes but this is super cute i feel like these would all go together really well and they're all in that same, here, zoom you out a little bit. Like they're all in that same color palette, you know? Not exactly, I would say. Like I feel like this one almost exactly goes with the brown, like those different kinds of tones. I feel like, like this tone's not really in there, but the green and the brown and the white are. But like this instead of the black, but still like they go really well together. And then with this as well, 
And then I think this is the, is this the Netflix and chill one? Or like similar color tones to the Netflix and chill one? So I feel like these would go really well together. Like even though there's like the blue element to it, it's still got the bright pinks and then the lighter pinks and like the other colors kind of go. Like I feel like those would go together really well for like a Valentine's Day kit. Even with like these pinks too, maybe. Kind of bring the whole gold thing in as well. I feel like all of that could probably go together really well. Or even this would go well with this one. Cause like the pink in her jacket, kind of the pinky colors tones in there. I feel like this would go really well. I just maybe want some blue in there as well. But I feel like those would really go together well. Ooh, I wonder if this goes exactly with it. This is the last page. I'll count them here in a second to make sure I got all 10, but I feel like this is probably not it. Like it doesn't go with it exactly. Cause I'm not really seeing like the elements of the design stuff down here, but I feel like color wise, it still goes really well. So I feel like right here, I've essentially got basically everything I would use or would need to use in a week for the most part. Just no date covers, but I could always get separate date covers. And then same thing here. For the most part, just not enough full boxes, but if maybe for a, a work heavy week or not a work heavy week, but just a heavy week of stuff going on, just the one full box. And then like here, I could figure something out. They kind of go together. So there we go. Got like three, almost three full kits there. And then two that I kind of just need to find elements for. So that's Let's count one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. So yeah, ten sheets there. And then this is one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten sheets here. So yeah. That's perfect, more than perfect. Definitely gonna be doing a little hunting on the Scribble Prince Co site, maybe the buy, sell, trade even, and see if I can find some parts to go with these different kits. And then there we go. Oh, that was so pretty. But yeah, awesome. So excited about that. That was a good haul. Very big, heavy truck driving by. I don't know if you heard that. All right, once more with love. <laughs> So excited about this. All right, I'm gonna cut it open this time. Oh, scissors are coming. Come here. There we go. Sorry for the loud noises. I'm just gonna cut this open. I had done this before I started the video, but I was just too excited. And then I kind of wanted to be like, look, I'm like opening them with you. I swear I didn't look at anything yet. Like, <laughs> I'm literally like giving you all of my first impressions on all of this stuff. So you've heard it here first live, how much I'm a sticker addict <laughs> and that I have a problem. But don't we all, if you're watching this video, I'm assuming that you do too. <laughs> oh, oh, I'm so excited. Okay. So I did not order this on Black Friday or I ordered this for her anniversary. I don't think I ended up ordering anything from her on Black Friday. I almost did and then I was like, no, you already have a huge order coming in. You don't need to order again, not at least until like mid-December. <laughs> so um, I don't know if she's closed for the holiday. I, I know Coffee Monster Co. went on break, right? It was Coffee Monster Co. went on break, but Once More Love is staying open. I can't remember exactly. So I will have to, or maybe it's the other way around. I can't remember. I'll have to check again. So I might be doing another order this month. Um, maybe my next paycheck or maybe with this paycheck. We'll see. Um, after I do this one, it'll probably inspire me to buy more as what always happens. But oh, I'm so excited. 
for all this stuff. So yes, I did get some goodies for the year five. I don't entirely remember. Hold on, hold on. I'll not show you my information. Okay. So first is this beautiful little journaling card, a little card dashboard kind of thing. The sunlight will come and go. What you do with the light when it is here is up to you. I like that. I like that hers, I like Coffee Monster Co's being seasonal, but I also like that her, that Once More Vlogs are not seasonal and that you can like use them really anytime. I like that. And like sometimes I post them up on my board thing as well. Um, so thank you. I hope you make the most of your day for all of your days. I never really could I never really cared for sunrises, but sunsets carry such an irresistible sense of temporary closure that I can't help but appreciate its beauty. Take the light given to you and live your life to the fullest. Oh, I love all her little, like, what, is it, what, am, what am I trying to say? Like, I love that she kind of pieces those together with like thoughts that she's having. Oh no, got kind of dented. Mm, that makes me sad. Something dented it. Oh well. Oh. Okay, so first things first. So first things first as well. I did not get super oops this time. I was so upset with myself for not getting super oops. Like I complete I was in such a rush to put the order in and like to make sure I had the code right and everything else that I did not put in super oops. So for the first time since coming back to stickers, I don't have a super oops in a once more with love order. But next time, next time. Um, and I mean, they're not guaranteed every time anyways, but I've been, I, you know, I've consistently gotten some super oopses every time I've ordered. So I was kind of upset with myself because I was like, there you go. Blowing your chance of free stickers that you just have to cut yourself or, you know, might be a little more messed up than a typical misfit, which I feel like the misfits are never messed up. But, um, so for the freebies, I got the Leo Munchkin with the number five for five years. And I love all the little doodles inside the five. They're so cute and she's so adorable. So love that. And then I got a little winter one with the coffee. So cute. Oh, I can't wait to like find a place to put those, which will probably be on my little cork board. But this is the November freebie. So we've got a little for the holidays. Oh, home for the holidays. Oh, I like that. A little stocking munchkin, a little sneaky shopping. And then I love this little scene cuddling up by the Christmas tree. Love that. So cute. So, so cute. Okay, so these are the ones I actually ordered. Let's show you my, show you my stack. Not too fat, but a little fat. <laughs> So we got some power outage ones. Um, we do lose power here a lot during the winter, so I figured I needed to pick some of these up just to mark those occasions. Um, I got a sheet of Costco stickers. I will be cutting this in half and sharing it with my friend, which now I'm seeing, seeing that I don't know how I'm gonna, maybe I'll like cut up and down, <laughs> go like that, do like a, Kind of thing and splitting it in half with my friend because she actually has a costco membership i do not but occasionally we go to costco together uh and she lets me use her membership um and then we do also get snow here so i thought these would be cute for little snow days marking going outside and playing with my son in the snow it might be fun to add to like wintry kits and stuff then we got holiday feasting which i thought might help fill up some space on my christmas week um and definitely be able to use those for future holidays i hope um and then holiday themed baking they're so cute look at the little holiday bow a bowl 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 is what it's called not a bow bowl uh, <laughs> got the christmas tree on it and that one's got a little star i love baking in general um but i didn't want to use up all my normal baking stickers to mark like for the holiday baking that i'll probably be doing um, I'm going to make homemade cheesecake and I always make cookies. I got, I ordered, um, I already purchased like three things of the like, um, breakaway, like 
printed sugar cookies that you get around the holidays with like the snowman on it. Um, I think the other one has reindeer on it maybe. And then I got a Snoopy one as well. Um, just because Snoopy's adorable. And I know it's more like, they were almost more, um, Thanksgiving fall themed in a way, but they're just basically Snoopy's face on a sugar cookie. So, I mean, I was like, I feel like it's just Snoopy themed. So, whatever. But reading by the fireplace, since I've been doing a lot of reading lately, I figured those would be really cute to mark with my, um, reading, um, reading habit tracker that I do every week and then also just to mark in general the times that I just want to sit and read for hours um and this was another one I was gonna split with my friend some friends are family it, my friend when I showed it to her kind of pointed out that it looks like almost like they're choking the other friend or like trying to take his head off or something and I feel like that's still just my friends um, they are like my family um especially being that my family lives in California and I'm in Washington and I I personally have no family members here. My husband's family is here and of course, you know, they treat me like family. But um I I just none of my family members actually live here. So and I only get to see them maybe once a year and I didn't get to see them at all this year. Um which is kind of making me sad. <laughs> um now that I'm thinking about it again. But anyways, um so yeah, so some of my friends here um, specifically three of my friends, uh, that I have here, like family, and we literally call each other that. So these are perfect. And my friend who also does planning with me now, um, or does planning too now, um, who I drag down the dark black hole of planning with, um, stickers with me down the hole. I didn't, I don't speak English. I'm sorry. Um, <laughs> I mean, I do, but I speak it horribly. Um, anyways, uh, she, she's one of the she, the one who said it looks like they're choking each other or they're choking the middle one is one of the friends that is like family to me and um so i think it's perfect anyways to give her half of these because uh this is definitely our group of four <laughs> for sure in picture form with just three obviously but anyways and then i got the five year anniversary favorites i want all the other years I really do. So I'm, I think every order, I'm going to order one year, starting with like probably year one, but I wanted to definitely grab the five year one, um, with the sale and everything just to celebrate five years. So feeling good. And you got a little drooly munchkin. I love so much. Oh, the little like, I know it's, is it from the anxiety sheet or is it from like the just meant, I think it's like the mental kind of health sheet of just not kind of being in a deep, dark place. Um, little mask munchkin who's adorable, feeling stuck, little working in bed, watching Netflix in bed kind of one, crying and bleeding all. It's so cute, but so sad at the same time. It's all the art. I just realized that. I thought it was wearing a bow tie. <laughs> oh, that one's so sad and sweet though. Um, and then this one, oh, it's money. Is it spending money? Oh, that's adorable. I like that. And then hitting snooze, working from home. I thought that was trying to say like, what the hell or WTN or something. But now it says work from home, which is perfect. I probably do actually need to order a full sheet of those now that I work from home random days rather than all the time. Um, and then another like Zoom meeting one, little cleaning guy. I loved that on one of the um, sampler sheets I got. And then oh, one that's stuffed. Oh, I needed that one on Thanksgiving, but I'll definitely need that one on Christmas too. Because Christmas meals also make me feel stuffed. Uh, why me? <laughs> that's so cute. Wash your hands. I like that. Sleep in. I was like, is that a skier, Santa? Like, at first glance, it is <laughs> weird. But sleep in. You mad, bro? <laughs> that's so funny. I have no idea when I would use that, but that's awesome. <laughs> Oh, it's like a little tantrum one. That's so cute. Not a good day. I feel like these are a lot of bad day ones. So I feel like this definitely is the perfect to mark the fifth year because it's definitely not been a good year, right? <laughs> oh, the little anxiety ones. I'm scared. And then I like this one though. The little like everybody coming out the windows. It reminds me of some of the vloggers that I watch that live in New York and everybody that like what is it in the morning and in the evening they did the whole like singing and and celebrating the the workers and stuff 
from their shifts and medical workers and everything, right? I love that. That's so cute. I like it. I'm excited about it. Okay, so I had to get that one. But now on to the mystery, which is not super mystery because obviously you can kind of see some of them. And I'm already excited about like every single one of the th ones I see, especially the macaroons. Oh, I'm such a big macaroon fan. There's a store in Seattle called Lady Yum. They're at the airport. So if you ever come through the Seattle airport. Um, and they're also um, within Seattle. I think they have several locations. Um, and they make literally the best macaroons I've ever had in my life. Um, except ones that I get from like the French bakery that's also down in Seattle. Um, but like from them, they're just, oh my gosh, they're so amazing. So I absolutely am so excited I have these now because then I can mark every time I go there which has not been in a long time. Maybe that's something we'll do this winter is me go a little Seattle trip and I can just to drive around or just to do something. Cause I feel like this year needs to end in a better way of just not doing anything. Um, so I actually have this one and I'm so glad because I was really nervous about using him. Um, I was like, I don't want to use him at all <laughs> cause he's just so cute. I love Fop so much. And then plot twist, and I love this one so much too. So I was also kind of like savoring this one, but, and it's perfect. I don't even see what can be wrong with it. Sometimes once I use them, I see it's like cut issues. So like this one, I think it is a cut issue because like the, it's not coming up very well, but like, honestly, that's not that bad. They look beautiful and the cut issues you can get around very, very easily. So, and then like I said, the little macaroon ones. And again, they all look beautiful and perfect. Again, I think it's just probably cut issues. Um, that I can't tell until I start pulling them off. And then Instant Pot ones. I don't use an Instant Pot. I actually got rid of mine because I never use that. I prefer crock pots and rice cookers. <laughs> so I tried to cook rice in an Instant Pot. It was a terrible idea. Um, so I might use this to mark rice cookers though. Because it kind of looks like my rice cooker. Really. There's no like dial in the front thing though it's just a button i pressed to like it's a very cheap little rice cooker very basic rice cooker but it makes good rice <laughs> so i might use these for rice cooker and maybe i'll give them to my friend who actually does use an instant pot i feel like she ordered a whole bunch though so i don't think she needs more but we'll, i'll ask here um stars lovely little stars with munchkins those are just so cute just for decorating things in general so something happened, something stabbed my order because look at this. So like the card was messed up in the same way. And then, so who stabbed my order is what I wanna know. Somebody stabbed my stuff. But maybe it happened before it went in the, because I'm not, oh no, I see it. It's there, there's like a stab wound. They were stabbed, my stickers. Oh no, that's fine. I mean, they're already oops, it's right. <laughs> it's okay. It's not destroying any stickers so far. It's just kind of messing up the ends of the pages. So, but anyways, cute little stars. So excited about those. Here, I'll try to like go back and forth. Oh <gasps> yes, some of the holiday stickers I didn't order. Cause I thought I ordered a lot more holiday stickers, but maybe those were from Coffee Monster Co. I keep not keeping track of orders very well. <laughs> I was like, what did I order? <laughs> um, a hobo note page with bow clips. I think these are for hobonichis, but I feel like I could still very much so use these to mark stuff in my B6, you know? Super cute. Crocheting, which I don't do. So I'll have to see if my friend crochet is. Or if one of our other friends crochet and want stickers to mark it. Because I do not, sadly, crochet. Ooh, prescription pills and vitamins. Yes, I actually need this kind of sheet. Oh, yes. Oh, and she came out today. Too. Okay, sorry. I'm getting distracted. So these are little pills and vitamins, like prescription stuff. And I do actually get prescription. Well, birth control really is the only one right now. But um, that would be perfect to mark that stuff. And I need to get more. Um, oh, so many of them. Oh, I'm so excited. Okay, so, um, holiday shopping madness 2.0 sales, lots of shopping lists. Oh, I love it. So cute. 
And it was one of the ones I wanted to get, but I kept telling myself I didn't need a bunch of shopping stickers. <laughs> I didn't know to buy shopping stickers to mark me buying stickers. <laughs> but I'll probably use these to mark like when I do go Christmas shopping or I will probably be doing last minute shopping. So um, doesn't that happen to all of us in some form or fashion? Like something comes late or doesn't isn't about to arrive on time. So then now you've got to like go to plan B and get something last minute. So um, and I always like to go out right before Christmas to see if there's any last minute sales or anything extra I can grab. So we'll see what ends up happening, but more of the little cuddle stickers, like what they have on the, um, like what she has on my, where's that freebie I got? Where are you freebie? I just want to see if they look any different or like if there's a color difference between them, but no. So see the print is perfect. It's just the, probably the cut on these or something somewhere. I mean, there's one little tiny mark right there, but that's it. I mean, that could have been made by me. So that's probably a cut issue. But, oh, they're so cute and perfect. Oh, I'm so excited. Put you back over there. Okay, I'll just finish this stack. Um, and then animal love icons. Yay, more puppy stuff. Love those for marking things to do with my doggy. And then, oh, let's get down to business. And I was getting excited because I did just get the notification um, from Disney Plus that Mulan is on there now for free, like with, with your normal Disney Plus subscription. So I now finally get to watch the Mulan movie because I was not about to pay that much money to watch the Mulan movie. <laughs> I wanted to see it, but not that badly when I knew it was going to come out for free. Now, if I didn't know it was going to come out for free eventually, I, I would have probably done it. But because I knew it was eventually going to come for free, I was like, no, I don't need to see it that badly right now. I can wait. So I'll get to mark that watching it. Oh, I'm so excited. And these are so adorable, too. Mulan well, was like my favorite Disney movie when I was a kid. Um, like literally I watched it like crazy. Hercules, Aladdin, and Mulan were like the three I watched obsessively. Beauty and the Beast was like my favorite princess. Uh, Belle was my favorite princess. And so I would watch Beauty and the Beast pretty often. But like the three I watched literally constantly to the point of having every word of every song. And literally almost every word they said memorized were those three. And like I said, Mulan. Um, munchkin emojis. Yes, more emojis. I got some emojis last time too, and I was super happy about it. And these ones are like silly, it looks like. And then, like, so some silly ones sticking the tongue out, looking just kind of silly. Some kissy face ones and hearts ones. So, those are super cute. I like those. This is a good haul. I got lots of cool stuff. I'm so excited about basically everything I'll use in some form or fashion. Um, and some things I will be sharing because sharing is caring. Um, oh my gosh, I'm just like so stoked about this. These are so adorable. So, so adorable. I kind of want to like fan everything out to show it off for a picture, maybe. Thumbnail. <laughs> mm -hmm. You see that? I like that, maybe. And I just got to do my stuff for. Scribble Prince Code. But yeah, so that's this is everything. Lift you guys up a little bit. Um, so this is everything I got, and I'm so excited about all of it. Like it's all super pretty. I'm gonna have some fun adventures, kind of piecing together the stuff I got from Scribble Prince Co. Got some really fun stuff from Once More with Love that I definitely will use and share and love forever and ever and ever and hoard <laughs> no i swear i will use them i'll find a way oh, these keep curling up a bit so it's gonna be hard to take a picture of them um but yeah so this looks like just a giant mess of stickers but that's basically what it is um so i'm gonna <laughs> i will let you guys go um i thank you so much for joining me and spending time with me um I will link these two shops below and I hope you have a wonderful day and um, please like, comment, subscribe, um, definitely comment. I love hearing from you guys. I really, really do. 
Um, I love talking and, and chatting about stickers or just anything really. So feel free to comment, um, like, and subscribe. Hit the notification bell if you do subscribe so that you can know when my videos come out. And um, I do, I probably should post my schedule inside my description. That's something I should probably do. I do post videos every Monday, Wednesday, Friday at 10 a.m. Um, and at least Mondays for sure are always the same. Wednesdays and Fridays, it may be, you know, skipped every once in a while if I don't have content for you guys. Um, but, you know, always trying to get that content, baby content. <laughs> you know, who else says that <laughs> if you watch her? Um, so... Yeah, anyways, <laughs> thank you for watching um, and spending some time with me, and I hope you enjoyed it. Okay, bye guys.